Welcome everyone, how are you doing? I'm your host Malgaris, and we are continuing the Starcraft Boot War campaign, heading on to the Terran campaign. Terran campaign, the Iron Fist. Since the conflict began in the Coprulu sector, the ruling council of the United Earth Directorate has closely monitored its wayward Terran, Terran colonies. Having witnessed the steady advancement of the Zerg infestation and the maneuverings of the Protoss throughout the colonies, the ruling council has finally agreed to take control of the war-torn sector. Oh wait, so it's a dictatorship. Learning that a new Zerg overmight has manifested itself upon the planet Char, the UED has sent its greatest admiral, Gerard de Gaulle, to capture the creature. That's a face. Oh man, you do not want to wake up next to. As captain of the UED fleet under de Gaulle, your objective will be to stop the Terran Dominion and dispose of its dictator, Emperor Manx I. First strike, UED flagship Alexander, high orbit over the planet Braxis, outlying Dominion strongholds. Adjutant online. Good morning, Captain. Our long voyage from Earth is over and we are holding a stationary position near the borders of Dominion space. I trust that the effects from your long, cold sleep have worn off by now. If not, the Med Officer can provide you with additional cryostem supplements. Admiral Dugal has issued a proclamation to the entire fleet via Transmed. I'll patch it through to you now. Attention, defenders of the United Earth Directorate. This is Admiral Dugal. You were all briefed before we left Earth, so you know that we have come here to conquer this sector in the name of humanity. Should any of you have second thoughts about performing your assigned duties, be reminded that if we fail in our mission here, not one of us will be going home. We stand or fall together in this forsaken wasteland. Serve the Directorate. Serve humanity. All other priorities are secondary to victory. You go out. Transmat completed. Receiving incoming transmission. Good morning, Captain. I am Vice Admiral Stukov, tactical advisor to Admiral Dugan. I see you've already reviewed his proclamation. I'm sure it doesn't cover anything you weren't already familiar with. Once you get to know the Admiral, I'm sure you'll find that he's actually quite personable. At any rate, Captain, I do have orders for you. As we are about to begin our invasion of the Dominion, we will need access to their primary data net and weapons diagnostics. To this end, you are to assault the outlying planet of Braxas and take control of its capital city of Baramas. You are to deploy your forces within two standard hours. The Admiral expects perfect results, Captain. Stukov out. Understood, Vice Admiral. Alright then, in that case, I cannot beat to mate Admiral Dugal if he's so personable. Okay, back with Terran. Wait. Do we have a gas geyser? Oh crap. This land inside doesn't have any gas. Guess we'd better start looking for another geyser. With all due respect, but apparently Admiral de Gaulle is not personable enough to give me a gas geyser at the beginning of, at the beginning of my mission. Well then, let's just build two... Commander, go, go, go. Vultures? Yeah, turn vultures to start scouting the area. You guys as well. Let's move up north. So our enemy is going to be down, correct? Since we are trying to, to dethrone Mansk. Reporting for duty. Standing by. Let's move. Rock and roll. Outstanding. Rock and roll. Go, go, go. Commander. Give me some issue. Well, I flopped that fight flopped that fight very hard. That's okay, let's put you on control group number one and you keep bumping on just SCVs. What are you on? Yeah, yeah, maybe I should have done it from the beginning. And once again, no gas. That's what a bit frustrating. SCV good to go, sir. Report for duty. What are you on? 
I'm just going to uh, heavily poke these turrets until they start burning. Then let me just uh, pull back from that. You will not supply depot. And let's get some more vultures out. We cannot build siege tanks, so these two are quite precious. They deal a lot of damage. This one should be burning by now. Yep. Great. If we don't have any gas, that means we have to pull him. Okay. Engage his enemies. Oh, one siege tank took ugly, ugly damage. Can you move to the right and maybe build a bunker over here? Oh, yeah, okay. Let me just build a bunker over here. For some basic stack defense. Okay, both my siege... Yeah, one siege tank especially is very wounded. But I can build a command center right here. Yeah, just let's make sure we don't get stuck on anything. So, over here. Okay, I think a few more SCVs should do the trick. There's also... Grab some marines, put in the bunker. Oh, this mission is already stressful. An engineering bay for some air defense. Okay, let's move out a few guys to scout around. Oh, fire bats. Quite deadly up close. The good thing about Fulch is we can repair them, since um, if you repair a mechanical unit, then you need both gas and metal, except for vultures, because they only cost minerals. Gas, metal. Gas and minerals. Because they only cost minerals, so you need to only repair them with minerals. It's very practical, that's why I'm building up a few of them. I do hope we don't get gas stuck for this entire mission, that would not be very fun. The Terran team, or the UED team, the light flaws ever. Let's build our engineering bay right here and start building some anti air turrets. What do you mean you can't build there? Of course you can build there. Here's the units. Let's shove you in here. Okay. You build a barracks over here. I'm also going to move you a bit closer to the front line. Oh, no fire guys. Oh, marines. Okay, they're still zero zero. Uh oh, we got a little encampment over here. I yeah, know, we uh, we hit slightly harder than them, so that's uh, quite nice. Oh boy, because we're in vultures. Okay, this is getting a little bit too hot for me. Let's fall back for now. That bunker should take out these marines quite easily. Let's assist them a little bit. There you go. Oh, they're moving in for the kill. Hold on, with uh, our combined firepower, this shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, let's get some more vultures and send a CV to repair. Yes, women. Let's pull it towards. Oh, he's quite rude, isn't he? Probably a rough childhood. You How is your relationship with your mother? Let's get our supply depot. And upgrade. Oh, we can't. We don't have any gas. Let's build another one over here. So if they decide to drop anything, because they have access to gas, but we do not. 
with revolts of front and back of marines. Just have some supplementary fire, supplementary firepower. The tanks, you stay in the base, deal off any stragglers that might attack us, and you guys move in. Easy. All right. Easy. Let's build our supply depot over here. You guys move in to destroy this missile turret. Oh yeah, we're absolutely going to have access to gas, else these upgrades will not be in there. Oh, it's a fire bad ambush. That was easy. Yeah, I just have a lot of small groups over here we can easily clean up. Oh, there seems to be an enemy stronghold. Not just a simple outpost. Let's go to the right over here and see what's up there. Get two additional vultures and two additional marines. Let's send them into, let's send them into the attack as well. Hey! Yeah, okay, no, my force at home can easily uh, pick off these, so that's alright. Let's move up. Oh, a bait! Captain, I am Lieutenant Samir Duran of the Confederate Resistance Forces. I've been monitoring your attack against the Dominion, and I'd like to offer you my services and skills in return for amnesty. Intriguing. Lieutenant, you have absolutely no idea as to who we are or what we have come here to do. Why do you wish to side with us? Because my men and I have sworn to fight against the Dominion and its Emperor. Seeing as how your forces have been laying into this Dominion base, I figured we were on the same side. I see. How exactly do you propose to be of service to us, Lieutenant? Well, I possess intimate knowledge of the surrounding area. I can show you an alternate route that leads to the rear of the main Dominion base. Very well, Lieutenant. Consider yourself and your men the first colonial conscripts of the United Earth Directorate. Captain, see that the Lieutenant is given our full cooperation. We shall see what he's working on. <laughs> Both gas guys immediately. <laughs> okay, we got finally access to higher tech and a new hero unit, similar to one. Okay, so I'm guessing this fortress is heavily defended, so I have to go around the back of the middle line because at the end our objective is to destroy the command center, which is this thing. So if we run to the back, we can wreck some supply depots to cripple their operations. Right away. And we can take it from there. Yeah, I'm just going to like full throttle into gas for my SCVs. Is this enough? Yes, this should be. Yeah, no, this is enough. That's fine. Okay, let's start repairing siege tanks. I'm moving you guys up to here as well. I am going to destroy this bunker. And this little encampment. Oh yeah, we need some more tech. An academy. Build an academy over here. Simply because that will allow us to make a little choke point here to defend while we start gathering up our forces to move north. And attack them from the rear. Attack them in the butt, as I like to call it. Oh, they already got one armor, so they'll be a little tougher to kill. No problem though, we still got the numbers. Yeah, those bunkers are pretty bunkery. Okay, let's see how far we can go in here before we... Okay, I think that's a great stopping point. So let's grab some SCV. So let's grab an SCV over here. Oh, your academy is almost done. 
Oh, I can put you in minerals. Oh, I got plenty of minerals. So let's get some empty armor. Moving range, which are these shells. And then start building up a force of bunkers. Of our barracks, rather. I said we grab you and build a bunker over here. You guys move up north as well. This should be out of range of the siege tank and those bunkers, so we should be fine. Samir Duran, you will join in the attack, of course. First, going to clean up this on top to get the ramp, because you'll probably have to bait some forces up here. Then move to the left, get our force over here, a nice choke point, build some siege tanks. Oh, speaking of siege tanks, siege tank upgrades. I move you guys up to the north. Put you in the bunker. Build a second bunker. Also build a few missile turrets when once these are done. Also a comp station. So we can scan for enemies. And lift you. And land you over here. Lift you as well. And land you over here. Let's move the two of you closer. Yeah, now, nah, buddy. Let's just put this one siege up and siege up. Can you, like, build the factory over here as well? <laughs> I'll see these two friends hugging together. Yeah, no, the defenses are pretty tight, so I doubt they'll be able to punch through it. That's what the missile turrets are for. How is our income? Oh, it's going pretty well. Let's uh, bump out some more marines. How is our armory upgrade coming along? Oh, it's about 90% done. 85% done. So far, so good. Let's get over here. Oh. That's a lot of mines. Yeah, I would not want to run into that. How about the forces over here? Pretty well entrenched, but I think if I can fill all them down with like two or three siege tanks with a good marine escort, then this should be fine. Yeah, we got plenty of marines for this one. That upgrade is done. I'm not researching STEM because I don't think STEM is very good, personally. Or I just don't know how to play with it. Which is also a, an option, skill issue, you know how it is. This SCP is just being idle. I think we can. I'm not sure, but now nah, I'm going to keep these in, these in this bunker in case of an emergency. Like. An emergency marine fund, you know? It's like money, but instead of money, it's marines. You want a piece of me, boy? Yeah. And let's pump out some siege tanks. You want a piece of me, boy? T. The T is for siege tank. Or tank, rather. I think five should suffice for this you main assault. Yes, sir. Roger that. You want a piece of me? Let me just uh, preemptively build a few supply depots. Also, you build an armory to upgrade our weapon to our pull. Bump grades our vehicle attack. Great to hear. The arc light shot, can shot cannons do 70 damage, which is plenty. Let's build a second comms and station, just to have the consistent scanning ability to make sure we are aware of any threats that might have to us. Okay, their defenses and security up here are pretty minimal. So let's start slowly moving up. Can we build, like... No, we cannot. We cannot build dropships. 
Absolutely. This one's almost done. We've got these vehicles. An enemy! Oh. You're lucky there, white bear. Get some more supply depots. Okay, we got a good marine siege and composition. I think a few collides won't hurt either, so let's go buy a few of those. Go, go, go. Commander, let's move. First of all, let's move up here just to clear this location out. Yeah, they are producing out of the barracks, so it's it? Oh, I saw that. I saw that, I do not appreciate that. Base is under attack. Well then, let's just... I read you. Right away, sir. Order received. You want a piece of me, boy? Is this enough to take it out? It looks like it. But barely. Oh. I don't expect. It's very nice of him to perfectly distribute the damage so my marines would survive. As best they could, of course. We didn't even need that vulture. Oh, that was very easy. Alright then. Hey, don't hurt. Oh, don't hurt to run. He has done nothing to you except help and destruction of your base. What do you need? Standing by. He barely took any casualties over there. Let's move. Destination, proceeding. Destination, death. And the way that you will be I dealing death. Target. Oh, it's a traffic jam. As though Starcraft won traffic jams Moving. all over again. Proceeding. Siege mode over here. What do you need? Hit them very hard. Okay, back to tank mode. They have to keep moving up north. Okay, okay, okay. Keep moving north. Hey, you, on siege. Okay. You guys move forward and start taking those supply depots. You siege up and start forming a small wall. I need to have some marines. They just need to cut off this reinforcement road from the enemy. All the rest do the work. Just hold on as long as you guys can, alright? No rocket sounds. Can you target the command center? No, it's not within vision missions. How about now? Okay. Yeah, they are entrenched, they can hit it. That's pretty great. I know any forces try to counter attack this one, just get on blood rates. We are. Uh oh. Yes, <laughs> I almost lost the mission. Sorry, Duran. Not my intention, buddy. Take a little uh, too close for comfort. Move in. Great job. Mission success. 
successful, Admiral. <laughs> Barely. Excellent, Lieutenant. This planet's primary defenses are now crippled. Our attack teams can now begin to decode the Dominion security data link. So how did the fire bats get up there, actually? Whew, that was uh, off to a great start. I almost lost that because the run nearly died, but for the rest, uh, pretty good. Let's uh, squeeze in the next mission as well. The Dilarian Shipyards. UED flagship Alexander holding perimeter orbit over the Dilarian Shipyards. Outlying the main trade center. Receiving incoming transmission. Captain, Vice Admiral Stukov has informed me of your flawless sortie upon Braxis. Uh -huh. I must commend you for beginning our campaign with such a decisive victory. Our attack teams have decrypted the Dominion's data link and have gained access to Ming's most guarded files. However, our work is not yet complete. We have ascertained the location of the Dilarian shipyards. These shipyards, serving as a fueling and repair station for the Dominion, house a number of functional battle cruisers in dry dock. To assure that our domination of this sector remains uncontested, you are to assault the shipyards and liberate as many of these capital ships as possible. Gentlemen, I recommend that you launch this attack using the utmost caution. Dominion Command can typically reinforce its outlying bases within 16 standard hours. You should expect some sort of reprisal from Emperor Mengs shortly. Ah, uh, the turncoat. I suggest that you pay keen attention to rank when you address the captain and myself, Lieutenant Duran. Is that understood? Of course, Admiral. <laughs> You're beginning to show your age, Gerard. Give the boy some credit. He just tipped us off to a preeminent attack. However useful he may prove to be, Alexei, he will always be a traitor in my eyes. And you know that I cannot abide a traitor. Only too well, Gerard. Captain, when you are ready, you may commence with the operation. Once you have commandeered the enemy's battle cruisers, be prepared to repel the Dominion reinforcements when they arrive. Yes, Admiral. Yes, Vice Admiral. Let's move in. Once your forces have landed, Captain, you'll need to escort our pilots to the battle cruisers themselves. They will be able to commandeer the ships and turn them over to our control. Easy enough. Alright troops, listen up. Each squad will have a medic assigned to it to patch up the wounded. But that doesn't mean you can get careless. Stay frosty and get the job done. Go, okay. Go, go. Let's move. Commander. Oh. That's pretty great. Okay, so these are the pilots. We can't just throw them in. Okay, let's see how effective these are against bunkers. Okay, what are my statistics? 3-3. Three, three. Okay, we got max upgrade infantry. Didn't even lose a single one. Alright, and I think I found a great unit to work with. And they're a part of standard infantry attire as well. Let's medical attention? Can we take the height? No, we can't. Well, that's pretty great. Okay, let's move up to the high grounds. Can we target the bunker from the high grounds? No, we cannot. But we can target this down this bunker though. And now I can actually use the stim packs. Oh yes, we got a use for stim packs. I hope there's no bunker over. Nope. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Fall back. Fall back. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. You're precious. You're precious. You're precious. You're precious. You are loved. You are precious. You are everything. Alright. I cannot afford to lose my pilots because I need my pilots to commandeer these battle cruisers. Rock and roll. 
Okay, guys. Did someone page me? You guys have permission to use drugs because there are medics nearby. Now you're all junked up at a giant bunker. Yeah, this is so good. You guys move up north. Darn pilots, get in there and commandeer that battle cruiser. Okay, guys. And drugs. Okay, that's the first platform done. Next platform, please. Battle cruiser operational. I'm here. Okay, let's first put the medics down here. Sir, permission to blind that tank with an optical flare. Need permission granted. Attention. Optical flare of F. Get close enough. On my way. Oh, it's blind. Need it's blind. That's pretty great. On my way. Finally. Let's have you move out. Where does it hurt? The pirates are safe over On here. Ghost yeah, I don't need a lot here. Ooh, I can lock. You. No, I don't I'm think I can lock you down, but I can blind you. Where does it hurt? Right away. There we go. Okay, I think I can safely move these two pilots forwards. So you go over there and you go over here. Is there another siege tank somewhere? No, it does not seem to be the case. Did someone page me? Battle cruiser operational. Battle cruiser operational. Okay, we already got five battle cruisers, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Yes, there it is. No, that landed. Is there another bell oh, cruiser yeah. here some? Eh, it's bell cruiser. Is there another ghost here somewhere? <laughs> Siege tank here somewhere? No. Nope. Okay. Hey no, nope. don't go too far to the north. Yep. No sweat. Don't want you getting shot now. Yep. Battle cruiser no operation. Right, you grab this one. Need Battle cruiser operation. That's great, ghosts. Call the shot. Did someone page me? Stack. Okay. Ghost four nukes, four ghosts. What more do you want? Uh, we already got a nice nukeable spot. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, blind you real quick. Emergency. Now let's move forward. Oh. Can I just do this? I mean, that immediately clears up like two spots, so we can get Finally. two more battle cruisers. Also, when you're done, run like heck, because you are in the blast radius. Pretty great. Nuke me with us. And you, no, you, and this one. Channel open. Confirmed. I'm here. Battle cruiser operational. Battle cruiser operational. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. No, fall back, fall back. No. What are you doing? Well, I know where the next nuke is going. Let's move the three of you also up to this point. And that's them. I'm here. I hear that. 
Can I just cloak you guys and you can like, have fun? Oh, the Dominion is not leaving medics, don't do they? That's a shame. Okay, you guys take the high grounds. Pretty nice. Okay, let the medics move closer and re heal that marine. I was gonna say repair that marine, but that does not make a lot of sense. There we go. These are quite wounded, so just they sneeze on their faces and they should be dead. I like how we just like capture a battle cruiser. They're like, yeah, it's fine. They won't try doctor or anything, just uh, grab it and take it away. No problem. While you guys are here, let's just wait. Get in there, you can expect cover from us. Oh, there's the other Goliaths. And that should be all on the forces. I still got two nukes to spare, I think. Yeah, we launched... No, we got one nuke to spare. That's pretty good. Can we use, can we use the next session? That would be awesome. Uh oh. Restoration and restoration. Okay, where are my pilots? They're right here. Yeah, it's an odd setup, but hey, well, at least we got one battle cruiser for free. Great. You get over here. Let's move closer behind. Okay, so we are split off, it seems. I'm going to cloak you and lock down you. And now start hitting that thing. Oh. Can I do this? And also optical flare you. Decloak and start hitting you really, really hard. No, I can't. Cloak and lock down this one. Okay, now we can engage. See, this is a fun little puzzle. Fall back. How long is the range on that thing? Okay, <laughs> we took a decent amount of damage and we have also depleted some energy, but that's okay. Energy regenerates over time. You guys wait here while my siege tanks inch a little bit forward. Great. You guys slowly move forward. We have almost reunited, it seems. It's not a science vessel. As long as those boys live, they have detection, and that's not good for me. Where does it hurt? Finally. I mean. Log this one down and target it down to make sure that we don't get any problems further on in life. Huh? I have three ghosts work on that. Whereas you guys just stand by for a minute. Uh oh. No. 
no, 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 no. My bad. I got a little bit too excited. Well, the range shouldn't be this long, right? <laughs> Girls going up and I was like, oh no! Don't do it! You got so much to live for! When you grow up, you're going to be a Bell Cruiser pilot. So let's clo cloak you guys. And mow down this tank. Let's just uh, wait until this tank has been destroyed. So we can unlock another location. How much energy do you have left? Oh, you still got plenty. They got that one. Okay, the most wounded pilots move forward and grab this one. You earn it. I mean, not really, but I think uh, it's putting the wounded ones first in will decrease the risk of unnecessary casualties. Let's decloak you guys. Okay, so the only thing that's left to destroy is one more siege tank. Need medical attention? Stack. Identify target. Let's just uh, siege up here for now. I'm here. Yes, you are. All right. I'm going. Do you guys move up north? Yep. What's up? So who here has got enough energy for cloak and a EMP or lockdown? Let's cloak you and lock down you. And that should be it, right? Yeah. Okay, move move on to rest. And destroy a tank. Unless there is something over here which I will double check. We should be fine. Yes, sir! We got the high ground either way. No, I don't think because we passed by this point. No, I think I don't think there's anything there left. So capture the point, capture the cruiser, and that's the mission. That went pretty well. Nothing special. Battle cruiser operational. We are tracking a large fleet of Dominion ships in your vicinity. <laughs> This must be the reinforcements that Lieutenant Duran warned us about. Captain, prepare our newly acquired fleet to battle the intruders. Yeah, well, it's uh, pretty much acquired. Let's just see if we can't All get a formation reported. working. Like, put you guys on the line. Open. Make sure you're all, all very reported. accessible for combat. Healing frequencies open. Good day, Commander. We got something looking like a line. Frequencies open. All crews reporting. Great. Captain, we are being hailed by the Dominion flagship NORAD 3. Well now, I don't know which militia y'all are from, but I advise you to back down now. I'm General Edmund Duke of the Dominion Armada, and in the name of Emperor Max, I order you to surrender your forces immediately and unconditionally. Ah, General Duke. I expected your forces to arrive sooner. You should know that we represent not one of your ragtag peasant militias, but the combined might of the United Earth Directorate. Earth Directorate? You mean to tell me you've come all the way out here from Earth? That is correct, General. We're here to take control over this sector and its occupants for the betterment of mankind. Over my dead body. I don't care where you're from, son. No one pushes around the Terran Dominion on my watch. All units, fire at will. Oh, it's on, baby. Receiving transmission. Engage. Set oh, same to you. 
Oh no, they're trying to kill me off. Fall back, you. Oh. Okay, not off to a great stop. We got the mother guns. Yeah, I displaced my forces a bit. That's all. I hope I can. Uh, I feel yeah, this is looking pretty good. Well, oh, that wasn't even close. Alright then, <laughs> that was apparently the uh, elite garb of General Duke. Well, you didn't do much, let me tell you that. That was a fun mission, it introduced us to the medic and her abilities, which I really like. And that's also all the time we got for this episode. If you like what you saw, why not like the video and subscribe for more content. That is all, I'm your host Malgaris and I'll see you next time. Bye!